Hi, I'm Yo Mary with Edmonds, and that is the 2021 Honda CRV Hybrid. What is it? Well, Honda took its very roomy, practical, compact SUV and kicked it up a notch in the fuel economy game. Now, is it better than its cast cousin and its competitors? Is it worth your consideration and your hard-earned dollars? Well, we're here to find out. At Edmonds, we test and review hundreds of cars, trucks, and SUVs each year. At the same time, CarMax buys, sells, and expertly appraises thousands upon thousands. We've combined forces to help you find your next vehicle. We'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and be sure to subscribe to the CarMax channel so you can watch more videos like this one. And while you're at it, drop us a comment and let us know which vehicle you'd like us to feature next. And by the way, we're going to cover all the top level stuff today, but if you wanna really dig deep into everything CRV, click on the link in the description below. Okay, here are some basics. The CRV is a compact SUV that competes with the Mazda CX-5, the Nissan Rogue, and the Toyota RAV4. Now the RAV4 is the only one of the bunch that offers a hybrid version to directly compete with our CRV today. How does the Honda stand out from the compact SUV crowd? Well, in several ways. It has roomy seating, a comfortable ride quality, and great handling. Where does it fall short? The infotainment interface is dated. Acceleration isn't very good, but we'll go through each of these points so you can decide whether they are a deal breaker or not. CarMax sells CRV hybrids for an average of just over $36,000. Keep in mind that the price depends on things like the trim level, mileage options, and other factors. Okay, so under the hood, you get a two liter four cylinder that combined with the hybrid system puts out just over 200 horsepower. Is that good? Well, during our testing at the Edmunds test track, we achieved zero to 60 in 8.5 seconds. That's pretty slow, especially compared to its rivals. And even the standard CRV is a bit faster. The main reason you're looking at this CRV is fuel efficiency, right? So how much more efficient is the hybrid than the standard CRV? Well, according to EPA estimates, the hybrid is rated at 38 mpg, while the standard is rated at 29 mpg. Now that's a big jump, but it comes at a cost. Remember, the average use price of the CRV hybrid is over $36,000. The standard gas-powered CRV is almost $32,000. Is the hybrid worth that bump in price? Well, honestly, it depends on the amount of driving and the type of driving you do. Are you doing more city or highway driving? Now be honest, do you have a lead foot? It makes a difference. And what's the price of gas in your area? With a hybrid, you'll get your best mileage during city driving. We recommend you do the math to make sure. So as soon as you get in the vehicle, you get this feeling of spaciousness for the driver and also for the rear passengers. And that's because it really is spacious. The interior design is actually very nice. You do notice that there's a lot of plastic, but that is pretty typical in this class. When you look straight ahead, you've got great visibility. That's partially because of these very small windshield pillars, which make it really, really easy to see whatever is in front of you. And something that I really love are the seats because they're super comfortable. They do have plenty of lumbar support and lots of adjustability for the driver. Now, something I don't love as much is the infotainment system. It is a bit dated and it's a seven inch screen, which is a bit small for the class, but it doesn't really bother me. It's a bit clunky to use. It's not the most intuitive. It has a lot of screens to go through and it doesn't help you keep your eyes on the road. Now, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which made it super easy to pair up to my phone. Another feature that doesn't help you keep the eyes on the road is the shifter. It's got these buttons that are not the most intuitive when you first get in to use them, but as soon as you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. It has four USB chargers, two in the front and two in the back, which is great to keep everyone happy. Lots of places to charge those devices. And overall, the build quality is really excellent. 
Now you might be wondering, is there a difference between the standard CRV and the hybrid CRV? Well, there is a difference. It's a little small difference. Well, actually it's a small difference. <laughs> In the standard CRV, behind the rear seats, there's 37.6 cubic feet of cargo space. Fold the seats flat and you get a mass of 75.8 cubic feet. That's really big for the compact SUV class, and it even beats lots of larger SUVs in the midsize range. So how does the hybrid stack up? Well, back here, it's 33.2 cubic feet. And with the second row folded flat, it's 68.7 cubes so the hybrid is a bit smaller. That's because the batteries are sitting under the cargo area, but it's not a massive difference. Small item storage is really impressive too. No matter which version of the CRV you go with, there's space for pretty much everything. Like we said in the beginning, acceleration isn't great. You can hear the engine revving and straining to go fast, like it doesn't really want to go, to the point where I started to feel guilty about pushing it. So if really sporty driving is a top priority for you, take a look at the Mazda CX-5. But everything else beyond the acceleration in the CRV is really good. Slow speed acceleration has a good handoff from the battery only acceleration to the engine turning on and taking over. Steering is well weighted and feels good in your hands, especially when the wheel is heated like we have in this one. It's got a smooth hybrid braking system that regens without a lot of extra brake bite, like you can find in some other hybrids. The handoff from the regen brakes to the standard brakes is good. We wouldn't say it's a sporty handling car, but it moves well. If you live on a curvy road, you'll be able to have some fun. Overall ride quality is excellent, and that's much better with these front seats that we love. But the rear seats, well, the bottoms are a bit flat and not very supportive. So if you're doing a long road trip, we recommend you call Shotgun. Okay, so that's the Honda CR-V Hybrid. Is it the right car for you? Well, if you like something that's extra comfortable and uber practical, yes. So does the CR-V Hybrid get the nod over the standard? Well, it makes a lot of sense, especially if you're doing a lot of city driving and your priority is to save at the pump. But just keep in mind that some of the rivals might be more fun to drive and more advanced in the tech department. But the CRV is a great all-arounder. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the CarMax channel so you can watch more videos like this one. And if you'd like to read an in-depth article about the CRV, go ahead and click the link in the description below. We'll see you here next time. Happy car shopping.